Welcome to Top Level Media News with me. I'm Chris and I have some major news for you guys. Let's do this and here we go. back everybody well it's been a sad emotional week already and let's begin with Luke Perry passing away at the age of 52 as I said in another news video that Luke Perry has suffered from a very serious stroke he never recovered from and it's sad news because since he didn't recover from the stroke, he passed away. We lose Riverdale's main star. And not only that, last April, uh, he was at a Riverdale convention and somebody asked him about rebooting 90210 and he had mixed feelings about it. The show started in 1990 and it ended in 2000. And so my condolences go out to his family and to many, many people that knew Luke Perry. So moving on, we also have King Kong Bundy that passed away at the age of 61. There are many sources saying they don't know what happened and TMZ is still working on the story as well to get an answer to see how he passed away. But the thing is, is that uh, if you don't know who King Kong Bundy was, he was a wrestler back in the WWF days. He did a few matches with Hulk Hogan. He was awesome and everybody loved King Kong Bundy. And so basically he made a few appearances on Weird Science and not only Weird Science, but he did a few appearances on Boy Meets World. And not only that, a lot of superstars on social media are speaking out about his death. So rip King Kong Bundy at the age of 61. Not only that, we also have school rock star Joey Gittes Jr., which starred as Zach in the school of rock next to Jack Black. Well, he is in some serious trouble right now. Basically, here's what's happening. Joey has gone to pawn shops, about four pawn shops, and he has asked to test out the guitars and play around with them. And then on four of those accounts, he's walked out with four different guitars, plus one amplifier. Joey is walking out with them. Like I said, I'm paid for. He stole one that's over a thousand dollars, another that's about $600 with a major amplifier that costs at least $400. So that's a lot of money right there. That's a lot of money for unpaid guitars and amplifiers that Joey hasn't really paid for. And like I said, he's gotten in some serious hot water. You can call him Joey Sticky Fingers. So that's all the news I have for you. Thank you to everyone for checking out this episode of Top Level Media News by me. And we'll see you again shortly and more to come from me to you and have a great one and see ya.